The first element is to give them an amazing football experience, playing in a different continent, playing in different temperatures and dealing with different cultures and having to still perform on the pitch. I think that's a really good experience for us to try and give, give these young boys. The other parts of the trip are that we can use the experiences to try and encourage the boys to develop uh, the whole of themselves as opposed to just what they do on the football pitch. At the club we believe that developing them off the pitch will go back onto the pitch and, and vice versa. I think it's about just trying to let them, equip them to make the right choices. We try and provide a, a, an optimal environment for them and they can sort of learn from it and keep making the right decisions um, most of the time. So we need a little bit more creativity and a bit more quality in this part than to punch the pass through to the player. I mean it's banded around a lot, the cultural experience, um, but it's certainly trying to get that growth sort of on and off the pitch and what an opportunity for, for them as well as the staff. It's been really enjoyable doing all these activities. It's a new experience and a new culture. So hopefully we do more of these and enjoy ourselves and get more confident in ourselves. Amazing moment when Giovanni fell over, hopefully you caught that. So we had like a staff run and he tried to, to race off because we're all much slower than him and he went crashing down. Well Ben, where were you going right now mate? It was the jockey club, mate. Ah, lovely. On behalf of me and the rest of the team, we'd like to thank Hong Kong Jockey Club for organising this once in a lifetime opportunity. Once again, thank you. Ooh. We're excited because it's a new experience and like something new to you, so you want to like, be eager to learn about it more. The, the lads are enjoying it, you know, the sense they get around the camp is all the lads are enjoying themselves, having a great time, there's a good buzz about the group, there's a bit of banter flying around which is normal for football, for the football environment and it's a healthy, healthy banter which is great, so I don't think they're missing the mums and dads too much, some of them. Stick the landing, stick's over, react, stick, over, react, stick, right, good. In terms of the training sessions, um, from, from my perspective, they've been fantastic. Uh, the compliance with the training and the monitoring protocols has been really high, exceptionally high. So right now, on our way to the match. Team very brilliant, you know. From the off, we uh, won our tackles, got the ball, and uh, we played brilliant. I think coming over here, the conditions are quite difficult. It's quite hot and humid, but I think we uh, we battled it well and we came away with the result in the end. Boat race was great fun. Everyone got involved. Uh, I think it'll be a once in a lifetime kind of memory for them. Who's done a dragon boat race in Hong Kong? Certainly not many people. Considering the fact that we're, we live in Manchester, we don't really get opportunities like this. So it's good to come out here and you know, try new things. The pleasing thing for us as staff, it was great to see everyone involved and everyone wanted to do well and wanted to learn. And in the end, I guess the competitive side out of everyone, everyone wanted to win the race and that, that was quite funny. It's a shame that we came last, my boat, probably a little bit heavy. At first, I didn't feel confident. I didn't know what I was doing. It was the first time. As we said, in Manchester, we don't get much of this. So it's a new experience. But once we got going, it was good. And it felt good to win. Yeah, New Era, yeah. Manchester United sponsor, brilliant. Yeah, camera. Um, 
Oh, yeah, that's the one. Cheers, dude. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, he's just an egg. No, no, no. That's the one. Cheers, dude. New era. It's a real mix of uh, travellers amongst us. Showing the view. It's that different and that exciting that so we, we're definitely you know, able to, to sort of capture their, their imagination with this trip. There's two 45 minute games, so in essence, the first game is a semi final. Hopefully we win that game and then we progress to the final. I guess for us we've tried to approach it in, a, in the most professional manner. We're trying to give the boys a bit of an experience how maybe the older groups uh, go about uh, preparing for a game. I think it's always nice when you're playing for, for, for trophies, especially at Manchester United, and being able to be part of that winning culture within our club and, and nice to take silverware home. They've managed to engage in all this stuff and hopefully develop, but then they've managed to go, okay, game time, what does game time look like? And I think that's perfect experience for them to hopefully become professional footballers. It's all come from day one, and it's not just we've turned up on the day and performed, but there's a lot of stuff been going on throughout the background which has helped us to get this far. Got through the first game on Tuesday, we've got a 6-1 win which brings us confidence and we brought that confidence into this and we got a good 3-0 win and we all came together and a lovely trophy at the end of it. Champions, come on! Oh, you know, we've got some really, really good young, young guys here that we, can, that we can believe in and a few have not just taken a step forward, I think they've, they've leaped forward. When you pass here, you go to them. You pass and go over, and then you pass. You understand? It was an opportunity for them to kind of show it this morning, but I think they only showed it because they believed in what, what we're trying to do with them. If, if they didn't believe in what we're trying to do with them, I don't think they would have engaged as much. And you know, some of the smiles on the kids' faces are amazing. Yeah.